two division world champion who went to the Ukraine to dethrone the champion, knocking him out. I made that. Um, he made his first mark in the 140 pound weight class when he defeated Lokmar Nadu in 2007. Certainly one of the most skilled fighters with very fast hands and he's going to be fighting out of his hometown, uh, Brooklyn, New York at the Great Barclays Center. It's a pleasure now for me to introduce to you world champion Pauli Magic Man Malinov. Uh, before I get started, yo P, come comb my hair. <laughs> you got brushes, but I use combs. I don't get started before I can't get my hair combed. <laughs> Always pleasure. You know. <laughs> this ain't me. You know. <laughs> uh, now, that, now that I'm looking crispy, on to, the, on to the next. That was a good little shtick Adrian put on. I give you, I give you credit, man. That was nice and creative. All right, I gotta. I gotta come back at you hard though. Pause. <laughs> yeah, pause, exactly. Um, all right, first and foremost, since, we, since Adrian left off on the topic of Jessica, here's the difference with me and Adrian, all right? We both got money, but I'm good looking, all right? There's girls that are closer to you, and then there's something us guys call weekend pussy. All right, Jessica was weekend pussy. That means, Jessica can fuck anybody she wants, and when I got time on the weekends, I'll do what I want to do. And she loves it, and she loved it. Not only that, she loved getting hit when, she was, when she, we used to sleep together. Matter of fact, Adrian, if you fucked her, you know it. You know what I mean? You know it. <laughs> but weekend pussy is exactly that, you know what I mean? Like, but the problem is Adrian thought it was getting, he was getting closer because he was getting under my skin because the only weekend pussy he gets is the type you pay for. So he don't understand what it's like to be good looking and get the regular pussy and the weekend pussy, and you don't pay for none of it. It just comes to you. It just comes to you. That, that, that's the life I live. If I wasn't boxing, I would still be getting laid. Now, this guy right here, nah, he's, he better be thankful he's a Floyd Mayweather imitation because he wouldn't get laid at all. And his name's Adrian. I see you the whole crew back there with a Paulette shirt. Dog, at least my name, you gotta make, you gotta feminize it. Your, your name is feminized to begin with. Your name is feminized to begin with. Your mother thought you were a bitch when you were born. She named you Adrian. <laughs> Polly, Polly's a guy name. That's a girl. <laughs> I know you can make. We can, take, we can take a survey in here. Which one is the more feminine name, Adrian or Polly? I guarantee you, it's gonna be Adrian. I guarantee you. You can make it up however you want. All right. Stop, stop, stop trying to talk like Floyd. All right. Stop getting on the stage. On the stage. Is it just me or he even stutters like Floyd? Like he like. He's a. He's a good fighter. Like. I can't even do the imitation. He's got it down pat. He don't, he don't just fight like him. He talks like him. He acts like him. He breathes like him. Dog, get your own, get your own character. Win like him. You're I Adrian like Broner. You're not Floyd Mayweather. You're Adrian Broner. I win like him too. Oh huh? uh, yeah, oh yeah, huh? Yeah, huh? Huh? No, I didn't hear you. No, no, I really didn't hear you. No, no say it again. You heard me? No, I didn't hear you. Get your ass stopped. You get beat. Right, yeah, yeah, I know, I know, buddy. Cool. Now you fight a real fighter. You know what happens when you fight real fighters? They punch you back. They punch you back, and you know what happens when you get punched back? You act like a sissy, I've seen it. You're a sissy, dog. I know I people win. that fought you, you're a sissy. I this, this is what happens when you I get win. punched back in the face. And you can't just walk up to a guy and hit you like a punch back. You quit. No, no, I don't quit, dog. That's the difference between me and you. You punch like a bitch, all right? Now, you, now you're coming up to a real weight class, coming to find a real man, coming to find a real fighter. You know what real happens when you hit me? You know what happens when you hit me? We're real I hit power, you back. Huh? I hit you back. We're real power, huh? Hey, look at my life, you opponents. They all look like they went through a windmill. I don't what you look like you went through. I know. No, I don't look like I don't look like anything. Man, I get scratched up and scratched and scraped. You got dried up gum like, on your eye. We I know. I got dried up dog. That's because I've been with real fighters. Real That's fighters. You know what real fighters do? They headbutt, they elbow, they do a lot of shit. A lot of the dried up gum on my eye is from headbutts. You know, I fought real hit. men. You I fought men that will bring the bitch out of you in a you second. You get hit a lot. Yo, Earl Spencer, what up, though? You're going to get hit a lot, too. Now you find a real fighter, you're going to get hit a lot, too. Anyway, man, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting back on hitting on this argument. He's gonna get hit a lot, trust me. And then he's gonna oh, see the bitch around him. He got, he got no character. It's all talent. You can, we can all succeed in a, in, a, in a talent league. We can all succeed. The, the reason we get here is first and foremost, we're all talented. Second of all, on a world class level, it takes character. Thanks to Al Heyman, he didn't have to show no character because he fought one bum after another. Richard Schaefer comes up here and says the, he fought. My what name is Charles. What's the guy's name? The first guy you beat for the world title? We don't even know who he is. They gave you the first world title. My name is up here. I know, I know. That's my name right now, Heyman. Not because of you, dude. My name is up here. And thank Al every chance you get. Al can't fight for me. Yo, Adrian, you had just time to talk. Guys, I can't fight for me. 
Guys like you are in the gym that are dying with nothing. There's guys like you in every gym that train that. That's a lie. I'm gonna you had your time to talk. I'm gonna fuck him up, that's what I'm gonna beat him. And when he's coming back to the corner crying and he wants to quit and he don't wanna come out for another round, and you gotta push him out there, let me know how that feels. Let me know how that feels, because I get up every round. I get up, whether it's a hard round or whether it's a good round. I get up when we fight. We, so you used I'm to there fall. for a long haul. Yeah. You used to fall. Huh? Huh? You used to fall. I used to what? You used to fall. You used to fall. You oh. used to lose it. No. You, you take one of your chomps. You take one of your right? chomps. You know exactly who I am. You Adrian, take shut up. You take the L's, man. <laughs> anyway, you're clown. Anyway, back to what we were talking about. <laughs> Let me get back my train of thought, man. I started arguing with this clown, and I lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, last week we gave you guys a good show at the at the weigh-in. You know, listen. I'm all, I'm all for promoting the fight, you know what I mean? I, when, when we're at promotional events, when we're at promotional stuff, you know, it's all good, you know, we'd, uh, we're we supposed to get into this kind of stuff, we're supposed to give you guys a lot of hype, uh, we're supposed to do all this kind of stuff. Um, what I didn't appreciate was I was at the way in working for Showtime and, um, you know, he, he kind of tried to approach me. Listen, man, I got, a, I, got my, I got my broadcasting gigs and I'm a fighter. I don't need to twine the two. When you start stepping outside that boundary, you know, then you get, get me a little irritated. So yeah, I'll admit, I was a little irritated. I don't mind, I don't mind promoting the fight. I've been doing this my whole career. You know what I mean? There's nothing marketable out of Adrian Broner. There's, there's nothing, nothing marketable about him. He's not creative. He's not intelligent. He don't give you a quote. He comes up here and says, what is he going to say next? That's because it's so corny. That's what we're going to say next. It's on the floor like a floor tile? What the fuck does that even mean, dog? What are you saying? It's on the floor like a rug. It's it's a hell of, if I drop that hell of comb and I just hold my hair with it, it'll be on the floor like a comb. Dude, what the fuck does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> what is this guy saying half the time? I don't Keep know repeating what he's saying. And then he, and then he mixes in the Floyd stutter that Floyd has. He tries to imitate Floyd with, with whatever he's saying. And then I really don't know what he's saying. Does anybody else have that problem? Because I don't know what this guy's saying half the time. You know, so hopefully after I beat his ass, like a piece of personality into him, so he gets his own personality, <laughs> gets his own character. And then we'll meet the real Adrian Broner. That's all I got to say. Well, thank you, Paulie. Thank you, Adrian. Uh, I